Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you have uh, watched um, many of my videos, you probably know that I and my daughters have suffered the loss of their children and my grandchildren. As a matter of fact, I have lost a total of four grandchildren. I have one daughter who suffers from cervical incompetence and I had another daughter that had a miscarriage. Um, with that being said, that's how I initially uh, started to talk so heavily on the uh, possible or probable loss of the Jacksons of Atlanta. So with that being said, like I said, uh, I do have an announcement to make. Um, and it's crazy that uh, this is happening now, but it is. Um, my announcement is that I am about to be a rainbow grandmother. Um, I know a lot of times you hear of people talking about their rainbow babies, but not often do you hear from other members of the family or how it affected them. I was devastated, um, especially when we lost the twins um, and how we lost them. So I'm so excited to be able to uh, talk about this. I'm so excited that um, I'm in this position. And it's weird because less than two weeks ago, I remember laying on my couch, just thinking about things, thinking about uh, what has been going on recently and just thinking, geez, you know, my daughters are getting older. Like I may never be a grandmother. And I was very sad to feel that way. Now, let me say this. My daughters are not married. Neither of them are married. So, um, it's not that I would have wanted to rush them into parenthood and being a single mother because I was a single mother and it was difficult. It was. So with that being said, um, that's not something that I, I mean, we never talked about, oh gosh, y'all need to hurry up and have grandkids, blah, blah, blah. I wasn't one of those. I mean, life will happen the way it happened is how I saw it. And um, I definitely wouldn't want things to be more difficult for my daughters. So um, I would not have put pressure on them in any way. So the fact that just like the day I had that thought, the very next day, I got a call from my daughter. We were just talking and she says, well, mom, in March, you're going to be a grandmother. And I was like, huh? she said, you heard me. And I'm thinking, no, I didn't. Oh my God. I was so excited. I was so excited. I wanted to freaking scream. Um, not, I, I was excited. Like I, I can't even, I can't, I can't even, I can't. I'm just excited. I am. So I'm telling you guys, um, as my, uh, newly adopted family, um, my channel has grown. I've had a lot of conversations with a lot of you guys. And like I said, I feel that you are my unofficial homegirls. And so, um, my, I'm going to say my official, unofficial homegirl. So, girl, we having a baby over here. <laughs> so, um, I just want to make that announcement to you guys. I'm going to be talking about it a lot. I'm just going to be honest. I will probably be making uh, updates just like I would if I was carrying, which, whew, Lord. Uh, yeah, them days been gone, but whatever. Um, I'm just excited and I wanted to share that with you guys. And, um, my daughter had some extra testing done, um, to make sure that everything was good. That's how I know that it is a girl. Yay. And so, uh, with that, um, that's how I know, like I said, um, so I'm sure she's not doing any reveal. I know that's a big thing nowadays, but but I'm very excited about this. And like I said, I'm going to continue to update you guys as I get more information. I'm so happy to be in this moment. I'm so happy uh, that God blessed me with the opportunity to, to have this title. 
and I just pray that everything continues for her to go well, and uh, I will keep you guys updated. So, I will see you guys in my next video, but yay! I wish I knew how to do the little confetti on the screen, because I would right now. I'm just saying. I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs>